video. This is my quick unboxing and setup, my first impressions of Samsung SmartThings and the Echo Dot. Okay, so the reason why I got the Samsung SmartThings is number one, it's the most compatible hub currently available and it works with a lot of the big brands, which some of them I already own and some of them I'm going to be buying in the future. And the other thing is that the Echo, uh, the Amazon Echo Dot, does not have Z-Wave built in. And a lot of the things that you want to control have Z-Wave. So let's unbox it real quick and check out what you get. Okay, so the Samsung Hub comes with a manual. Uh, it seems pretty straightforward. I don't necessarily read the manuals all the way through because most of it is common sense. Uh, plug in the device, put it into your network, and put in the batteries, and then load the app and search for the Hub. It's not brain surgery. Uh, this is pretty easy and it's kind of self-explanatory. Now the actual plug, okay, so it's a five volt DC two amp power supply, which is pretty much standard for this type of device. And I like the fact that it comes with batteries for battery backup. You don't have to hook it to a UPS or anything like that. So even if your power goes down, it'll still work. So you're going to need to download the SmartThings app and create a logon and password. This is so that you can utilize the code and uh, link it to your account. So this needs to be done before you can move forward with adding smart devices to your hub. So once you've signed in, uh, I, I actually had to reboot my hub one time and then it said I was online and as you can see here I'm controlling a smart plug right now. now. Let's move on to the Echo. So first things first you need to follow the uh, prompts that the Echo is going to give you and download the Alexa app and uh, create an account if you don't already have an Amazon account which I already had a Prime account so it was fine and I just had to link my Echo to it and uh, I had to connect the Wi-Fi to the Echo first and then once I did that and went back to the app then I could connect my regular Wi-Fi to the Amazon Echo Dot and that is the way you can connect to the cloud after that. So it'll be part of your Wi-Fi system. Then I connected my uh, speaker system, uh, my little portable amp directly to the Amazon Echo so I can get better sound. And they recommend that you be three feet, you have your speakers three feet from the actual Echo Dot. Alexa, play ESPN radio. ESPN 1320 on TuneIn. In sports, if you have owners that don't know how to empower the people underneath them. And that's Alexa, like that's just the stop. Alexa. Volume 10. Alexa. Open crazy fact. Here's your fact. Donald Duck comics were banned from Finland because he doesn't wear any pants. Alexa. Meow meow. 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 Alexa. Ask the bartender how to make a mule. I found a recipe for a cocktail named Mule. 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 Mule
The ingredients are, 1 and 1 quarter ounce Smirnov vodka, fill with ginger beer, 1 squirt lime juice. The instructions to make the drink are, pour Smirnov vodka into a glass. Fill with ginger beer, add ice and squeeze in the lime juice. Alexa, open ocean sounds. Alexa, volume five. Alexa, Alexa, turn off garage plug. Okay. Alexa, turn on garage plug. Okay. So final thoughts time. I just scratched the surface of these two products. I have Z-Wave locks and switches, thermostats, and an alarm to link up, and a lot of Amazon skills to try and test. I will be turning my home into a smart home and will be adding a water sensor, motions, door contacts, cameras, and much, much more. The beauty of it is that you don't have to buy it all at once. I'll be making videos as I add products to the system. Thanks for watching my video, and as always, please comment, like, or subscribe. Thanks again.